Maybe you remember it. Hi, I'm Tomáš Fuchs, sometimes called Delťák, and in this video I will tell you where I've been hanging out for the last two years. And there's a lot, so maybe there will be more than one video about it. Let's see how long I will chat about it. Maybe you remember me from old videos where I tried to reconstruct old bakery into two apartments and basically did uh, three videos where I removed tiles from the walls and one video how I cut uh, ventilation with the angle grinder. Great success! Some of you may even remember me from older videos where I tried my hand on technology news and uh, some technology videos. And also I went crazy on dry to toboggans, snow in summer and slides for kids. And some of you may remember me from even older videos where I tried uh, Let's Play videos from <laughs> Warcraft 3 and Dragon Age uh, Origins. Yeah, those times. So this is basically a uh, fourth iteration of this channel. And I promise that this time I will try to make most effort and I will try to give it everything that it needs to succeed. So uh, also I think that I've matured quite a bit and uh, I'm in different life position right now so it could be good. So why are you here? Uh, where I've been hanging out? Honestly uh, total overwhelm with the first reconstruction and uh, with work. Uh, so yes, I was basically young and really stupid and right now I'm just old and still, uh, you know. But uh, if you want to see how old and stupid I'm actually are, click to that sub subscribe button to see it. Well, there was more stuff, that's why we will probably split it into two videos. Uh, after more or less four or five months, uh, I was totally overwhelmed with, with the reconstruction. I had full-time job in IT, uh, most of the weekends we are out to our family, and on top of that I was spending about 20 hours per week uh, actually in the reconstruction itself, I, either getting tiles from the walls or getting rid of debris. So uh, past those four videos I really didn't move much further. If my now wife and uh, my mother hadn't intervened, uh, saying that I'm going to hit my limit really soon. Uh, after all, I'm not that capable and skilled enough to do it just by my own. And I didn't understand at that moment how most of the procedures uh, actually work and the individual activities. And on the other hand, uh, it would, wouldn't probably be, be finished today as I was going that slowly. So we decided on a construction company and honestly we went uh, for the price and that's how we found uh, something unreal, something incredible. Construction company operated uh, here in my, here and around my town, uh, owned and operated by Ukrainian and uh, employing just Ukrainians. Uh, by the way, this took place in 2019, that means uh, in total different si situation that we are right now. Uh, and those guys are unstoppable and incredibly skilled. Uh, every piece of crap that I could think about, uh, they were able to do more on that later. And they actually were and still are the excellent value for money. The problem at that moment was that three of them start working on the spot for 11 hours, six days per week. Yes, that's actually their, their work, working hours voluntarily. They are here primarily to generate money uh, to support their families back in Ukraine. So they are working as uh, hard and long uh, as they legally can. And I didn't have contracted plumbers, electricians, windows, nothing. <laughs> so it started uh, another full-time job for me um, to find other craftsmen and not just find them, but I needed them quickly because uh, otherwise the work would stop and it would be a pro problem for me as the gentleman from the Ukraine was moving that quickly and they are just builders. 
So they couldn't do the electricity or the plumbing. Uh, yeah, so I needed to move fast. Anyway, it worked. So let's take a quick look what we've got out of it. Let's start with photos that are even older than my original four videos. On these photos, we can see that this space was used by my father as a warehouse for his business properties and for, and for everything he just cannot throw away. Now we are already in a state where the space is cleared out by me after about a week or two because it used to be a bakery, the space is all tiled. I thought that the biggest problem was to remove the tiles and then the walls were simply levered somehow. I didn't think that plasters needed to be re redone. I didn't really know how to uh, do the re uh, reconstruction then. Hello ghost! Or that's how the first video of that time was actually created. Yes, I wore N95 mask before it was cool. And honestly, I had to change them too. Here you can see my progress with the tiles, but the was in the videos. The yellow pipes are actually still pressurized gas pipes. In those buckets, on a small trailer, I was taking everything to the dump yard. I thought that if I bought the whole disk, I'm gonna use the whole disk, damn it! Ventilation is almost done, and now we are at the end of the old videos, and at that moment where I prepared the space for construction company, this is, the, this is on the eve of the day that the Ukrainians came for the first time. And here they are. This is the first few minutes uh, and the results of their work uh, after the first day or two. Please note that at this point I thought that uh, I would still be able to serve them, including the removal of the construction debris to the dump yard. And then the, uh, in the first day or two they made this pile. Anyway, they uh, removed the older plaster very quickly, demolished the new door that was uh, supposed to be there, put iron uh, linters on it. Uh, the guys are really handy. Here my, my wife and I uh, were trying to take it to the uh, dump yard. We worked together hard for about five hours and it almost was not even visible on the pile. This is the continuation of the old ventilation outside, which needed to be removed, so I or ordered a crane for the boys and in no time the ventilation was finished. And since it was time for sorry, sand was needed, a lot of sand actually. Uh, this wasn't enough. I was driving another one of the uh, little brown car behind a 1 liter Peugeot 206, it was brutal. I was so excited about this. Uh, walls began to be built and thus the passages uh, were walled up. And the space was divided for the first time into those two apartments which they were supposed to be. Even though I found out that uh, I wouldn't be able to handle the removal of the mess, uh, I still supplied the boys with uh, material myself behind a tiny pe Peugeot, uh, which was my first car actually. And at that time uh, it was kind of the work car at home since we already had a Golf at that time. I carry the small things in our sm small cart in the background or I borrowed larger zinc trailer and put everything uh, with my own hands, possibly with the wife, brutally. The uh, results are unreal. This is the situation maybe 1500 days after they started. Well, we took uh, two cars to IKEA for doors and two kitchens. Uh, the cars were completely packed, uh, both our Jeep and our Golf. I still don't know how I drove the golf home, <laughs> it's crazy. The plumbers at work and preparing water, waste and heating pipes here. These old doors from the house to the yard stopped working during the renovation. Uh, they became completely crooked, uh, so we decided to replace them as a part of renovation when we bought the plastic windows. Here most of the apartment is already covered uh, with rough plaster and stretch, uh, stretched plumbing. Mm. There is a prepared hall for electricity meters, bricked door frames and uh, window sills. The gas sub supply to the upper floor disappeared into the wall. Electricity and internet connection is also ready. There are already uh, flats in the reinforcing mesh uh, and building glue, 
so the walls are super straight. Hey, new doors and windows. Uh, old doors and windows. Well, construction for drywalls begin. This cell uh, is there actually due to legislation. There must be one room in between the bathroom and kitchen, for example, a corridor. So we expanded the hall and created a storage space above. Uh, in the second apartment, the bathroom itself actually is built like this in the cube. Uh, this is actually in the cube I just mentioned, uh, and the place uh, where the sh sh shower will be, and the waterproofing is being done here. It's actually under the tiles, the waterproofing. This is second shower that will be bricked uh, with a curtain in the other apartment. Tiling and final plastering being done here. And one of the biggest headaches starts. The leveling compound cracked. We thought that we were only moving on smooth concrete, but uh, in the end it was just a concrete screed or something like that, under which there was probably flour painted with that paint over it, and everything together had a very bad chemical reaction and the leveling compound snapped. We had to get rid of it, borrow a grinding machine with an industrial vacuum and grind the entire area. And then it was needed to be painted with uh, the sand penetration. After the penetration, the surface was uh, as if you were working on sandpaper. Well, the second attempt of a uh, different, stronger leveling, leveling compound, fortunately already successful. Uh, the only thing that happened was a lump in one place. Uh, I sanded it with the angle grinder when I was cutting the expansion joints between the rooms. But I made a lot of dust and voila, it's already painted and tiled <laughs> and almost burnout. But fortunately it was repaired. It's a good story. And here we already have uh, doors and we are building kitchens. This kitchen couldn't be pushed in to the place because of the heating. There had to be more of us, about four. And in the end, we have to move it over the heating. Oh, and look uh, at the shoes behind the doors. It's like home right now. And here are the finished bathrooms and floors and new digging. When hanging the boiler, the plumbers drilled out uh, through ca electric cable and created a short circuit that needed to be fixed. And we also needed to, or had to redo the positions in the kitchen because our sockets came out above the hub. So we needed to move the water and yes, those electricians are better at plastering that am I. Fortunately, this work is behind the kitchen and nobody but you will ever see it. Uh, yes, and also at the last minute we found out that for approval we needed to approve the whole house and we have to have, have a hydrant. And icing on the cake, the ventilation slits for the windows, which hygiene legislation required. And here are photos of one of the apartments. Unfortunately, I don't have photos of the other. I honestly don't know why, but since it's currently rented, I can go and take a picture of it right now. It, like, good day, it's a nice dog, can I take a picture of you? Anyway, I'm very happy with how it turned out, and I think that the tenants are too. We already have the second tenants in, in both apartments. The previous two moved away for work, not because any problems with the apartments. Anyway, thanks everybody who made it this far. Uh, next time we talk, take a look on reconstruction of our apartment, that's actually where I'm sitting right now. And after that we will take a look on the juicy part, the money. I would like to refer you to some of my older videos, cool videos, but I don't have any. So at least please subscribe and I will see you next time.